The enzyme-linked immunospot assay is a widely used method for monitoring cellular immune responses in humans and other animals, and has found clinical applications in the diagnosis of tuberculosis and the monitoring of graft tolerance or rejection in transplant patients. The early spot technique has proven to be among the most useful means available for monitoring cell-mediated immunity due to its sensitive and accurate detection of rare antigen-specific T cells and its ability to visualize single positive cells within a population of peripheral blood mononuclear cells. The early spot method was developed by Cecil Shakinsky a Euro unregistered trademark S group in Gothenburg, Sweden in 1983, for the purpose of detecting antigen-specific antibody-secreting cells in a B-cell early spot assay which was a modification of a traditional sandwich ELISA immunose. The early spot assay has since been more widely adopted for the identification and enumeration of cytokine-producing cells at the single cell level, but is still used for detection of ASC. Simply put, at appropriate conditions the early spot assay allows visualization of the secretory product, S, of individual activated or responding cells. Each spot that develops in the assay represents a single reactive cell. Thus, the early spot assay provides both qualitative and quantitative information. Due to the exquisite sensitivity of early spot assays, analyses of the frequencies of rare antigen-specific cells within a test population, which had been impossible to perform prior to its development, have now become relatively simple. This exceptional sensitivity derives from the mechanics of the assay method itself. In an elispot assay, the membrane surfaces in a 96-well PVDF membrane microtita plate are coated with capture antibody that binds a specific epitope of the cytokine being assayed. During the cell incubation and stimulation step, PBMC are seeded into the wells of the plate along with the antigen, and form a monolayer on the membrane surface of the well. As the antigen-specific cells are activated, they release the cytokine, which is captured directly on the membrane surface by the immobilized antibody. The cytokine is thus a uro-oe capturid a uro in the area directly surrounding the secreting cell, before it has a chance to diffuse into the culture supernatant, or to be degraded by proteases and bound by receptors on bystander cells. Subsequent detection steps visualize the immobilized cytokine as an immunospot. Essentially the secretory footprint of the activated cell. This mechanism of capturing the secreting cytokine makes the elispot method far more sensitive than assays that measure cytokine released into culture supernatants, for the above stated reasons. Cytokine B derays and conventional ELISA assays can provide extremely useful information in certain contexts, but lack the sensitivity and accuracy of elispot for the detection and enumeration of rare antigen specific cells. The practical limits of detection for a lispot are dependent generally on the number of cells seeded in an assay well. Typically 200,000 to 400,000 PBMC will be used per well for an assay, but up to 1 million cells are commonly used for detection of rare events. A lispot is capable of detecting a single antigen-positive cell within this population, giving it a theoretical low limit of detection of 1 in 1 million cells. Procedure as noted above, the early spot assays employ a technique very similar to the sandwich enzyme-linked immunism and assay technique. Either a monoclonal or polyclonal capture antibody is coated aseptically onto a PVDF-backed microplate. These antibodies are chosen for their specificity for the analyte in question. The plate is blocked, usually with a serum protein that is non-reactive with any of the antibodies in the assay. After this, Cells of interest are plated out at varying densities, along with antigen or metogen, and then placed in a humidified 37 degree Celsius CO2 incubator for a specified period of time. Cytokine secreted by activated cells is captured locally by the coated antibody on the high surface area PVDF membrane. After washing the wells to remove cells, debris, and media components, a biotinylated polyclonal antibody specific for the chosen analyte is added to the wells. This antibody is reactive with a distinct epitope of the target cytokine and thus is employed to detect the captured cytokine. Following a wash to remove any unbound biotinylated antibody, 
the detected cytokine is then visualized using streptapidin conjugated to an enzyme a euro horseradish peroxidase or alkaline phosphatase a euro, and a precipitating substrate. The colored end product or a blackish blue, typically represents an individual cytokine producing cell. The spots can be counted manually or using an automated reader to capture the microwl images and to analyze spot number and size. Illa spot can also be used to quantitate the number of T cells producing interferon gamma. Fluoro spot assay The fluoro spot assay is a modification of the Illa spot assay and is based on using multiple fluorescent anticytokines, which makes it possible to spot two cytokines in the same assay. Application In 2011, in vitro tests based on detection of cell mediated immunity for the diagnosis of tuberculosis became commercially available. These tests use the mycobacterium tuberculosis specific antigens early secretory antigenic target 6 and culture filtrate protein 10 peptides to stimulate M tuberculosis sensitized T cells for the production of IFNI cubed. ESA T6 and CFP10 antigens are specific for MTB and are produced from genomic area called region of difference 1. Therefore a lispot based detection of CME can provide valuable information about the diagnosis of tuberculosis. Most importantly, a recent study found that this test does not appear to have cross-reactivity with leprosy even though LESAT, an m lepi antigen is very homologous to the TESA T6 used in this test. Therefore, this test can be even used in countries where leprosy is still endemic. Illispot testing has been developed for detection of occult Lyme disease infection. See also, assay, ELISA, immunosay, secretion assay. Notes and references. External links, an illustration of the principle of the Illispot assay. A flash animation of the Illispot technique, an animated depiction of the cytokine Illispot assay process, examples of patterns formed in the course of an Illispot assay, 1.